Hello, Pillow Featherbed here, and I'm here with a super special unboxing. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Can you guess who it is? Let's find out. Presenting Blanket Featherbed. So, Katie here, of course, with Pillow going to help her out. I have wanted Blanket for the longest time um, because I've had Pillow for a while and I love having the sibling sets. So finally I broke down and I ended up picking her up. <clears throat> and uh, who better to, you know, unbox Blanket than Pillow? I can't think of anyone better. So here we have Blanket in her packaging. Um, we're going to adjust the camera a little bit so this will be easier. Actually, that won't be easier. I'm sorry. I should adjust myself. So we can take a look at her packaging. Lala Loopsy Littles for ages 4 to 104. Great age. She has like a purpley handle with a pink heart. This is going to be what her poster looks like. Because they all come with a free poster. And then this says, Blanket Featherbed was once a ragdoll who magically claimed to life. Claim. Who magically came to life when her very last stitch was sewn. She's a real night owl who loves pillow fights, wishing on shooting stars, and snoring really loudly. Pillow Featherbed's little sister. And then there's the other one in the series. The other ones in the series. I have um, Scribbles, and my niece has Peanut. Peanut? Oh my god, that's not her name. I'm drawing a blank right now. Squirt. <laughs> so, when I open these guys, I just usually use a box cutter, but if you can either peel the tape um, or kind of stick the scissors or the box cutter in and cut the tabs off, that's a really easy way to not damage the box, um, if that's what you'd like to do. Definitely have uh, an adult help you. Oh boy. You don't want to damage your doll or your finger. But for the most part, the plastic tabs aren't that tough to get through. So this isn't a bad way of going about it. Oop, missed a tab. And I keep my hands like as far away as possible because I definitely don't want to cut myself. And I don't want to cut myself on camera. <laughs> so we got her cut all the way around. I should just be able to fold her back, uh, fold back the box. And then she's going to mainly be attached probably by a thread around her neck. Most Lala Loopsies are. So, if you can have, again, a parent help you, and you just want to move kind of like the fabric out of the way of her outfit, and snip one side of that string, and she should lift right out. She's also attached with a little plastic tab, so just break that. So, Blanket comes with a little white sheep, kind of like her sister. It's got a pink nose with a dark pink X in it, black button eyes, an orange um, bow, and a little curly hairstyle. And she also comes with a bottle, light pink with an, a yellow top and a yellow and pink detailing. 
And then here's our girl. Oh my god. She is so cute. I'm really excited because I've wanted her for quite a while. She's got like a light pink kind of hair. Like a pinky purple. Light pink cheeks. Black button eyes. A little black stitched smile. She's wearing a sleep sack that has um, a fake button and a fake zipper in the front. She has kind of like a lighter tan skin. There's a little um, orange and white striped heart sewn on the sleep sack. And the same materials used to uh, put the edges around her wrists and her head. Her outfit's going to undo in the back, just like the other ones. And she was born October 23rd. Mm, I should be able to flip down her hood so we can take a look at her hair. Cute, cute. Oh my god, I love her. I've been waiting so long to get my hands on this doll. And I've always wondered how well she would sit. And she sits pretty good. Because when these dolls sit, they split their legs apart a little bit. And because she's in a sleep sack, that would kind of restrain her motion. But that's not bad at all. So here's our girls, finally happy together, my two cutie patooties. So do you have pillow or blanket? Do you like these guys? Um, what's your favorite part? What's your least favorite part? Um, I love the buttons here, so it would be nice if her little sister had a button, um, but I guess that's not safe for babies anyway. She, I just love her sleep sack. That's the cutest thing. And I love that they match. So tell me what you think. Do you collect Lala Loopsies? Who's your favorite? Who's the one you got most recently? Let me know all about your collection. Comment, rate, subscribe. And thanks for watching.